the airport, about to do our farewells with this <laughs> nice gentleman, and off we go to Maputo. We are arriving at uh, where we're staying. This is the live-in and uh, all these cute little rooms that we have. Good morning from Mozambique, from Maputo. They call it Maputo. Maputo. I, I say Maputo, <laughs> but I think it's Maputo or something. So we woke up and I was so excited because I thought, oh, I'm going to look at my you know, photos and it's going to be all backed up because we need to have everything backed up in case we get like mugged or something like that when we go to South Africa. And it's kind of to be expected, so we figured if we do like the most of um, backing everything up, then the worst that can happen is we lose the devices. So anyhow, we woke up and um, I still had like 7,000 items to back up because there's no electricity, which meant there was no Wi-Fi. And um, so, I kind of like Malawi. <laughs> We're gonna go find a shopping mall though. And maybe they have generators there with like you know, lots of lights and shops that are open. I'm pretty sure they will. You're always on my mind. I'm by your side. No matter what. Where are we staying, Chloe? So we're staying at this quite cool place. Well, not cool, but at this place. It has a pool. Yeah. The breakfast is over right across from us right there. Was the breakfast really yummy? Yeah. It's Do you want to show us what it looks like here? Yeah. Okay. So that's the pool. Maybe you can go in it later, right? These are the little cabinets. They're tinier than the ones in there. And I'll go and show you the past. Looks like very natural the way everything looks, doesn't it? They always have gates for the entry and a bodyguard that comes and opens it and watches it. To make sure it's secure, right? Yeah. Come and I'll show you the breakfast area. Okay. Here's the breakfast. So on the other side of this, we have toast, juice in the morning. Um, we have 
just bread cereal and some cheese and ham and a plate of fruits. Yummy! That's so good. And yum. So we had a really nice sleep last night. We woke up to a few issues with um, the electricity, but the electricians came by, they fixed it all up, and uh, we're good to go. So we have good internet connection. We're gonna be able to get some work done this afternoon. And uh, right now we're just gonna head out to um, one of the shopping malls that's close by, just actually by the beach. It's only, I think, about 10 minutes away from here. Um, just because we've been kind of out of the loop and in you know Malawi and such, and they don't have any any shopping malls really so we just are gonna go stock up on some of the things that we need and um, I am gonna get a really nice I'm I'm just hoping I'm sure because Mozambique used to be um, ruled by Portugal so I'm sure they serve good coffee and I'm just looking forward to really good like cappuccino or something because it's something I haven't had in like weeks so definitely looking forward to that like this is where they have all their restaurants just by the beach they're like grilling chickens and the barbecue it's only um it's only midday right now but they're already like making a feast so i think they like to barbecue just like the brazilians do check that out uh, hi. for all you meat lovers this is where it's at <laughs> Right behind us over there in the distance, that mall, that's like one of their shopping malls. So I read it's like high-end stores and stuff, but let's go see what it has to offer. And then we're on our way actually to um, a shopping mall a little bit further down, about five kilometers down this way. So behind me is one of their soccer fields. Yeah, look at that, right on the beach. This, they have a Coca-Cola can or bottle, and then it has an opening. It goes out of the bottle. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's like a Coca-Cola restaurant. Look at this. Look at all the yummy chickens. And then in there is like a Coca-Cola thing. So it looks like it has nice apartments above the shopping area. What are you not allowed to bring into this shopping mall? Again? Yeah. Smoking, camping. Yeah. Um, no birds, dogs, or cats. Yeah. And no alcohol in mine. And then look what else I found. And if you need to go shopping and you don't have any money, they've left you even a, mass, a visa there to pick up. We've uh, lost Tyler, so we jumped in a car, a taxi, and we're hoping that he'll come around soon and figure out where we went. We stopped at the first shopping mall, but we thought he would recognize that there's a mall there and come in and join us. but. We came out and we couldn't find him anywhere, so maybe he's still over there in the stores. We don't know. So here's the shopping mall. Let's go. So that was fast. We arrived in this big shopping mall, and there was Tyler with two other guys. So he jumped in a shuttle, and he thought that we took off without him. So he's here. That was easy. Easy peasy. So this grocery store in here is like massive. There's like every kind of selection possible and imaginable and it feels like we're back to like normalcy because we haven't seen a grocery store in like how long? It feels like forever. And um, you can't really like eat the vegetables and stuff in certain cities or towns like we were because you just don't know how the hygiene is for the water and such and because we got so sick we just couldn't risk it. So right now to see all these like healthy fruits and vegetables it's just like ah it feels, looks so yummy, looks so good. But see how nice it is? Look at how beautiful this grocery store is. So here we found lots of our favorite cheeses. So it's like very yummy. <laughs> You're holding Especially it tight. this one. And what do you miss? What do you want for lunch that you miss? Spaghetti or like carbonara, spaghetti carbonara, or like this or something like that. Oh, yummy, 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 delicious. 
delicious. Cookies. Can you get some cookies? I think we should. Look at it. So something that's like super popular in this area is something called peri peri. It's like crushed chilies and they put it on their chicken and stuff. And it's like really, really, really yummy. And I, I don't know if it's like from Mozambique, but a lot of the places will serve the chickens with the peri peri spice on it. Back to our yummy European kind of picnic lunches with curie water, some beet salad. What'd you girls get? a beautiful view of the Indian Ocean right in front of us. And we got some Nestle chocolate with almonds for dessert. Every bus so far that has come by is completely full, just like this, and there's no way we can get in. And we're trying to flag down taxis or something, but there's nothing, nothing, nothing. So we just have to wait till maybe one comes by that's sort of empty, but they like squeeze so many people inside like that. And then they shut the door and go. This is the city center and um, a lot of this area here is super developed. Which is like our first city, eh? Angelique in Africa that we see like that? Yeah. Yeah, so like everything here anyway, this part of the city is like really well developed. You guys are gonna start to think that we really like shopping centers because so we just found the one with the, all the groceries, but now we're on our way to the big one because the one back there is still really new and there's not very many um, stores that are open. So I'm still looking for my coffee, like a cappuccino, and um, a health food store. So hopefully we find it. But the whole area down here in this area, it's like, it looks really nice, really developed, um, just nice homes and such. And uh, apparently there's like all these like little cafes and stuff in the downtown course, so find out if it's true or not. I keep walking up to people and uh, speaking English thinking like they're just gonna understand me and I keep forgetting like it's all Portuguese here, right? So some people speak English, but for the most part Portuguese. So the Portuguese um, kind of colonized uh, Mozambique for 300 years and they only gained their independence in 1975. So um, everyone speaks Portuguese, of course, and uh, so it's quite different. real cafeteria here and look at that I found a cafe suiza so a Swiss cafe that might be really good and it's all outside this makes sense because it's warm here you've got a Mr. Donut you've got a cinema over a gelato yogurtini this now I now this makes sense here we go Okay. Look, they even have a shawarma king, just like they do in Canada. This is cool. Chloe was looking for pasta, but still not dinner time. So this is their cinema. So we're gonna go check it out. That's where the movies are playing. Here I have it. I have my first yummy coffee and look at it. Even came with a little dessert. So good, doesn't it? I'm so excited to eat this. This here is their school. Yeah. Right in this whole building here. Mm -hmm. You guys enjoying the water? Biting water. You girls having fun? Yeah. yeah. Is it warm? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Good.
Chloe, what is so special about this house here? Well, Eiffel was the man who made it, and he was the one who made the Eiffel Tower. And they shipped this in a big container all the way till here, or not to here, but here actually, yeah. And it was gonna be for someone to live in, but it was way too hot because it was all made out of metal. And then instead it became the tourist room. So now it's a tourism office? Yes. Okay, let's go see it. So this is what the house looks like. It's all made out of metal. Do you want to knock on it and see? Knock and tell me if it's metal. Is it really made out of metal? Probably. It is? Yeah. So he was the first president of Mozambique. And his name was Zamor Masha. In Maputo, there's this beautiful bridge being built right over there. Can you see it? But it's not open yet. So to go where we're going would take four hours if we were to drive around. It's only like 15 kilometers, but the roads are really bad. So what everyone does is they take a ferry to the other side, which we're gonna do. And if you're coming to visit, when you get here, the bridge will probably be open and it'll be like really fast. So we're taking a ferry, and then from the other side, we're gonna get a taxi down to Punta de Oro, which is only two hours from there. So far, we've been waiting for like 20 minutes to go in, but the, the line's not moving. So there is no such thing as a line, and you have to like go and push your way through. <laughs> and then you have to like go ah, through the gate. Careful, 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 guys! Guys! Oh, careful! Holy freak! Grab it! Okay, you have the tickets, yeah? Should they? But anyway, we got the tickets. You have to go up to the lady and like, like, beg for her to like put, you know, you purse. That's how their tickets work. If you were to just stand there, we would not have got on. So what do you say? Other than like, this is insane. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Why do we do this? Why? Oh, I know. Because we're on a budget. So like paying 200 to go 15 kilometers is out of the question. Like to go around. And the road apparently is insane. And so we're doing this. Which a lot of tourists do do. But it's just I'm just done. I'm just done. I just want to go back to my Starbucks and have a normal Starbucks coffee. And like do a normal phone call where it's not choppy. And like be on a fast internet connection. And eat normal food. Watch a little Netflix. Make a homemade cook meal. I did like cook a meal in that, which is nice. But sometimes it's nice to have like your pasta and your normal food. When this bridge is done, it will be one of the biggest bridges in Africa. <laughs> From Maputo, we ended up going to a little small town called Punta de Oro, which is in the south all the way down in Mozambique. And there we had the most amazing week. It's also a village where a lot of South Africans go for their holidays because it's just a beautiful beach town, little chalets and cabins all over. So you'll see in our next video what's coming up next. Mm -hmm.